Hello and welcome to another of our YouTube tutorial session. In this session today, we'll teach you how to utilize the DBverse software to create tables and how to also populate the tables um, using the software. So basically, we're going to be doing all of this using SQL, which is the structured queried language. And um, if you've not watched our previous video on, on how to use SQL um, or how to use do select statements in SQL, I would encourage you to please watch that. And also the very first video on how to install DBRA and get SQLite all set up. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here is to import our Chinook database. Um, so I'm just going to start with going to file, new database connection, SQLite, open. Finish. All right, so you can see here that our Chinook database has been um, imported into the DBverse software. So make SQL script. So that's basically what we're learning today. Um, so we use the create table statement in order to um, create a table and embed it into an existing database. In this case, it would be the Chinook database. So we're going to do that quickly, um, show you how that create table statement can be set up and then how to start imputing some values or data into the table. So the first thing we want to do is start by um, having the create table statement as well as the name of the table, right? Um, but before I go into that, I want to show you something. So if you go over to the Chinook database here, if you click on it, see the very first um, uh, item when we have that, when we click on that drop down arrow, is called tables. And we can see all the tables we have in our Chinook database, right? Albums, attests, customers, employees, and so on. So what we're going to do now is to create another table and embed it into this database. And when we come back here, you would see that new table in here, right? So please follow along as we work on this. So we're using the create table statement and the title of our table would be shoes. So the first attribute in our table would be the index, right? Um, or the identifier um, for each record. And we want that to be an integer and it would also be a primary key. So it's going to be that unique key that would use to identify each record in our table called shoes. Then we have the second attribute, which is the brand. What, what, what brand of um, shoe are we looking at? And would say it should be a, it should be a character um, with 10 bytes. And then it should be not null, so it shouldn't contain any empty um, records. And then the type, we have this as a character as well, 250, not null. So this is the color of your shoe. Not no. 
then we also have price. So we're saying the price should be in decimal, right? Um, in two places. No, no. Then we have the description, which is a variable character. And that basically means it can change. Let me give it a 50. So null basically means that it can contain empty. Um, the cells can be empty. So that's basically how we create our table. We run this and see that we've, we've basically created the table. We've listed all the attributes that will be present in our table as well as the table name as well. And once you run it, this is the output you get, right? And you could see <laughs> it just kind of, it went immediately, right? Because it's a very simple um, uh, code to run. Now, let's come back here. I'm going to refresh this. Just refresh the database. Click on tables. And can you see, we now have a new table called shoes, right? But now watch this. When I go on tracks, Right, I could see all the different um, items in tracks, but then I'm just interested in the columns, which has all the attributes related to tracks. So if I click on columns, I can see all of the different attributes, which one is an integer, which one is numeric, which one is a character and so on, right? But now let's look at our shoes, right? When I click on columns, I can see all of those information as well. Right. It's showing me which one is a character, which one is a, a decimal, which one is an integer, and so on and so forth. Right. But the thing about this table right now is that it is empty. Right. There's nothing in the table. So if I were to do a select statement, that table is going to be empty. It's going to come out empty. Right. So I would show you. So if I run a select statement and say select this. So I'm using a wildcard asterisk from shoes. All right, so you can see, I just have an empty table here, right? There's nothing because there's no data in our shoe table. So now let's go ahead and populate, let's populate the, the shoe table with some information, right? Or with some data points. So in order to do this, we use another statement called insert into, right? Um, which helps us to insert values into the shoes um, table. So I think that's all we have. Once. Yeah. Okay, so so we have the values. Let's have it as um, So let's just say we want to have two tables, right? So this one would be Adidas. Oh, I'm sorry, like Lee. Uh, I think Superstar. White, it's a pretty nice color. 
I'm going to be a little bit biased to Adidas, but I'll put it at $185. And then, no. All right, so let's close that. And if we run this, now we see that so what we did here was to use the insert state in, insert into statement and say we want SQL to insert all of these values into the into um, the attributes or the columns name, ID, brand, type, color, price, description. Right? That's basically what we want SQL to do. And you could see below here it has used that query to, to perform um, to carry out the instructions that we wanted to do. So if we run a select statement to basically view the table, you would see that we have that data there compared to the very first time when we had the um, select statement. All right, so now you can see our date. Our table now has some information in it, right? It has the brand, the type, the color, the price, as well as the description. Right. So this is one way you can use SQL to create tables, right? And then um, insert those tables into an existing um, database. Now, the other thing we want to do is because this table shoes is just to practice stuff, right? We're just practicing how to do it. So we want to make sure that we've removed this table from um, our Chinook database. And one way we could do that is by deleting, um, using the delete uh, drop table statement, right? So you could just say drop, table and all we need to say is shoes, right? That's all. So once we run this, it brings up this prompt. You are about to execute drop table, letting you know that, hey, if you drop this table, it's gone. You will not have it in your database anymore, right? We could also use that, um, that same statement to drop any of these tables if we don't want to have them um, in the database, right? So you always want to make sure that you're cross-checking what table you're dropping. Is it an important one or is it one that you really do not want, right? So if I click on OK, it has dropped that table called choose, right? That table is gone. So if I come back here and I refresh this database, now you see we don't have any table called choose anymore, right? So this is basically how you can use um, SQLite and dbeaver to create a table, to insert values into that table, um, to view the table as well as drop the table once you're done with your analysis. I hope this video was helpful um, to teach you how to create a table, right? And I hope you can practice it with um, more problems out there and learn how databases have been set up and how information is is being added to, to the database. Um, if you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.